This is the Canon 28 to 70 F2. It is absolutely, without a doubt, my favorite camera lens that I own. Hands down. I bought this lens way back when I did my last Rome trip, and I wanted to get some pictures inside of St. Uh, Peter's Basilica, and I wanted to be able to handhold the pictures. And I consulted with some people, and one of the one of my uh, friends who is a is a very, very good photographer, told me that you always want to go for the extra light. So rather than the 24 to 70 f2.8, I went with the 28 to 70 f2. This lens ran about $3,000. It was not cheap. It is ultra sharp. It does great bokeh in the background because of its ability to shoot at f2 and i have joked around about the fact that i would never part with this lens in fact i would probably have my daughters put it in my casket and bury it with me when i die but the day has come when i'm gonna let it go this lens is really really heavy it makes wandering around just taking street photography or going out for any kind of fun photography nearly impossible because it weighs so much when you just try to hold it and carry it around. The 28 millimeter on the wide side is just not quite wide enough. It doesn't give me the ultra wide look that I want when I go into a basilica like St. Peter's, even though it will give me really good handheld shots, it doesn't give me the width that my 15 to 35, for instance, would get me at 15 millimeters. I used it primarily for creating videos for my new retired me account and my photography account, but then I rearranged my studio, and instead of shooting along the long wall where I could back the camera up and use 28 millimeter, I decided to shoot along the short wall, and the 28 millimeter is just not quite wide enough to get more than my head and shoulders in the shot. I need to go wider than that. As a result, this has just been sitting on my shelf I've only taken it out a couple of times for some special occasions. And I think that now is the time. It's a lot like saying goodbye to a really close friend. Um, you know those kinds of friends you have where you could not see them for two or three years, but when you sit back down again, you just pick up right where you left off? That's my lens. But the time has come, I think, to let it go and to invest in a lens that I'm going to use a lot more. And I have a lens in mind. And because I am trying to live a more minimalist, essentialist life, I didn't want to just add another lens to my collection. I wanted to use the one-in, one-out rule. And this one is out. Not your typical video for this channel, I know, but I made this video for two or three reasons specifically. One, because I just needed to hold this lens one last time before I put it in the box. <laughs> I love this lens, but I cannot justify just sitting on a shelf. So I have my eye on the new RF 10 to 20 millimeter F4, um, which is just going to be a phenomenal lens for the kinds of things I was talking about, what I originally thought I wanted this lens for, as far as the wide, really ultra wide shots. 
And so uh, we'll, it, it's on, I'm on a waiting list. We'll get that soon. The other reason I wanted to make the video was because I'm, I sat at my dining room table and I have the two lights on that are over my table. And I wanted to see what the lighting looked like with that. And I have to say that, you know, sitting just kind of back from it, just a little bit at the end of the table, I thought the lighting was really, really good. Would it have been nicer if my if the if the stuff in the back had been a little darker? Maybe, but overall, I, it didn't blow out the top of my head. My forehead wasn't shining. But I thought that light looked really well. And the third reason is because I wanted to add those slow motion shots, specifically slow motion shots over the narration. And so I, it would have been probably better if I'd had a few more of those. But, you know, I was in a bit of a hurry to get the, the camera box, the lens boxed up. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll be back out in the wild tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, that's when we'll see you tomorrow.